That's pump one. This is a pump station. It's designed to where there's alternating pumps that pump the water. What a pump station does, well in this case, we have done a lot of drainage in the area. All the properties that we built drainage systems for go to this drainage ditch. When the water reaches a certain level, it starts to go into the pump station through that grate. The reason why there's a grate is so that no debris can get in and plug the pump station, like a big log, something like that. So you can see how the water's just pouring through this. We just had a pretty good rain, so there's been a lot of water feeding this drainage ditch. So this thing's gonna be pretty active for a little bit here until it catches up. Now notice how, look at the water line on the dam. Let's go to the other side here and look at the water line. Quite a bit, quite a bit of a uh, difference. That's what a pump station does. In order for the properties on the other side of this dam to stay dry to protect those homes, here comes uh, pump two, alternating pumps. So there's pump two, and it'll alternate between pump one and pump two like this. In the event that a pump should quit, the properties won't be flooded out. That's the beauty of an alternating pump system. This is a commercial pump station. Where is all this water going to? It's going out to Lake St. Clair. Now the lakes here in Michigan, they're at record highs. We haven't seen the lake water this high in 30 years. They've been really high the past couple of years. This pump station had not been working for many, many years. And a couple of years ago, it just started, it just started, you know, pumping water uh, with literally no notice. The boats that were tied up on the canal. Once this water started started to be pumped, the boats, there, were, there actually was some property damage over that. There was just no notice. Once, once we reached a level to where it was gonna be uh, catastrophic to the homeowners, you know, we're talking massive insurance claims, you know, homes, homes would be underwater. Well, as you can see, there's when you look at the one side of this dam and you look at the, the other side, I mean, it's pretty amazing. They're able to control the water. Look at that. Now right there, you can see the two eyelets. They can lift that if they want. There's pump one again. So this is an active pump station. You can just hear the water going through that grate, filling the reservoirs inside the pump station. Now, a lot of what we do for properties around the lake it's not commercial like this, but the principles are the same. We're able to drain low properties and you, you dam your property in and you lift the water out of your property up and over into the lake. We've done it. We've done berms around properties. As long as there are a place to take the water to, you obviously need somewhere to discharge all the water. I've seen a rare case to where there was nowhere to discharge the water and the person is left with uh, no options at all. But it's rare. You know, that, that truly is rare. But 
in my contracts, I tell people, look, my system, the only way it fails is if whatever's controlling the drainage ditch, say if this pump station failed, both pump one and pump two failed, properties would flood. My systems would, all the water would just backfeed up into our systems. So under a, like a catastrophic failure, there's cases to where your yard drainage system wouldn't perform well. If you take your French drain, for example, to, there goes pump two again. So again, alternating from pump one, pump two. Look how much water that thing moves. It's amazing. If you take your French drain to a ditch and the ditch backs up, the water is going to backfeed into your French drain system. Your yard's going to hold water. I actually put a system in for somebody, and they were at the end of a street on a dead. They were in the cul-de-sac on a dead end street, and I told them, I said, "You are at the end of the line, a very long line. The water that." We took our French drain system to a culvert. That culvert went into a city a stormwater drain. And I said, you're at the end of the line. Everyone's properties are going to be draining into this system. And after really, really big rains, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have water pooling in your backyard until it gets caught up. Sure enough, big rain came. I got a phone call. Had to remind them of the conversation we had, and I had to remind them to be a little patient before I could even get in the truck and drive there. The storm system caught up, and the water was quickly ev evacuated from their property. The one thing about pump stations and the and the lift stations that we build if power goes out you're in trouble so I tell my homeowners get a generator get a natural gas generator so that if that happens That's pump one again. I, I do not know all the numbers to this pump station. I, I can't tell you how many gallons it's, it's pushing per hour, per day, but I wanted to shoot this video just so that it really helps people understand where does this water go? How is this water managed? What are the many things that I'm dependent on so that my drainage on my property works properly? So here's, here's a great example. This is really cool. I'll bore you really quick with, uh, with how it is on the canals around here. You could shoot the canal level. You can sh shoot the water line. And then you can go from the back of the house where the boats are kept on the canal to the, the front of the house and then you could shoot the level of the water line in this storm, storm drain catch basin. Well, the water line will be two feet lower in the storm drain catch basin. In order to drain the street and the properties, they had to put a system in place with a pump station like this controlling it, literally they couldn't tie it into the canals around here because everything would flood right out. There's pump two. So when we're building systems, I literally fly my drone to see where all the waterways go. And I do my due diligence 
so that I can educate my client, prepare them for, you know, the what ifs. You know, we'll build you a great system, but, you know, if the pump station fails, you know, there's not a whole lot any of us can do until that pump station's back up and running again. For residential and commercial property drainage in southeastern Michigan, give us a call, 303-755-1000.